Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can use a tool to quickly understand how to create content smarter. So let's dive in. The tool I'm gonna to teach you how to use is called Growth Bar, and it's a keyword research tool. As a broad overview, the point of keyword research is to find out keywords that people are already Googling. So essentially, what are people already typing into Google? And then you, as a content creator, can create content that will answer their questions. And the idea is you want your content to rank at the top of the first page of Google. So that's keyword research, and that's doing that research before you run out there and create your ideas so that you can position it correctly in the world of Google. Growth Bar does an excellent job of putting probably about 80 to 90% of what you need to do keyword research right inside their Chrome extension. So let's dive in and I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna use a completely random example. Obviously, if you have an e-commerce store or some sort of end goal in mind, you're gonna to wanna to create a piece of content that, that kind of funnels people into your niche but we'll just go like how to be happy. Sure, um, that's a great thing to know, how to be happy. Okay, so when I type in how to be happy, you're going to see something slightly different with my Google results. Those differences you see come from growth bar. So the first one you're gonna see is over here. This is a keyword difficulty score. Essentially what that means is how difficult will it be for your content to rank on page one when someone Googles how to be happy. Below that, you will see the growth bar suggested keyword. So it has the keyword you used, how to be happy. It has its monthly search volume. So about 246,000 people a month are searching how to be happy. I hope they figure out how to be happy, be happy. Um, and then it also has other related search terms. So essentially how to make yourself happy has 6,600 searches a month. So less volume, but perhaps it's keyword difficulty score is easier. Um, so let's even do that really quick. How to make yourself happy. Okay, it is slightly easier. It's a 49 medium. So essentially, you could keep going until you find one that has a good amount of volume and then a lower keyword difficulty score. You'll also see over here, it has something called CPC and that's essentially cost per click. So that's an estimate of basically pricing if you were to run ads to get your content to the front of that search term. But we're gonna focus a little bit more on organic content for us content creators out there. Okay, so that's not all Growth Bar does though. It does some other really helpful things. You're gonna see down here that when it shows other websites, it gives me more information. The first thing on the left is DA, which stands for Domain Authority. Essentially, Domain Authority is a ranking system of websites. So the higher your domain authority, it goes between one and 100, the more likely Google is to trust your site and put you on the front page. Now, it doesn't automatically mean you rank first if your domain authority is higher, but it's kind of just one piece of the puzzle. The other pieces of the puzzle, Growth Bar gives you as well, for the most part, right down here. So what it's gonna tell you is, if you click on this, it's gonna tell you this website's inc.com, which is you know a huge website. It's gonna show you what position it ranks for its top keywords. Um, then it's gonna show you its top backlinks. Backlinks are incredibly important to rank your content because backlinks are essentially votes from other websites saying, hey, we trust this content. So if you can get another website with a high domain authority to link to you, that's great because it's almost like a strong vote from a trusted website to trust your website. So Growth Bar will show you the top backlinks on your search results. You know, this is for every single one. So you have, this is Happify, its DA is 65. Um, it shows its top keywords there in case you wanna kind of, you know, gleam ideas off of your competitors. And then it also shows Happify's top backlinks it's top paid keywords. This is again, if you wanna gleam ideas, it's maybe gonna show you kind of what ads they're running and how effective they are for them. Uh, this will show you their Facebook ads. It will take you over to their ad library um, and show you, you know, the creative that they have used in the past. So you get all of that on all of the ranking domains. On top of that, another big factor as to if your article will rank is the article's word count and Growth Bar gives you that right here as well. Um, so this five ways to make yourself happy has a 514 word word count. Growth Bar is an incredibly awesome tool. You can try it for free for five days. Uh, I have a link in the description. 
it would help me out a lot if you use my link. I absolutely love it. It's kind of opened up the world of Google to me and you know whenever I get an idea I'm over there googling it I'm seeing you know how many other people are googling something like this how hard would it be for my result to pop up on page one and it really helps to shape your creative ideas because now you don't just have an idea and go about making it you have an idea and you also kind of bring some data into that idea and maybe that can you know beneficially shape what you're going to make so that that thing that you make gets eyeballs on it and that is all very possible with growth bar there are other keyword research tools that have probably a lot more information, but they're a little bit more complicated to learn. There's a learning curve on them. A huge one is SEMrush or SEMrush. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but that has a seven day free trial. It's incredibly powerful. There's a link to SEMrush in the description for that seven day free trial, but SEMrush is so powerful that you're gonna have to spend some time learning how to navigate that platform. Growth Bar, you can download now. There's a five day free trial and essentially you will learn how to use it after Googling just one or two times. And you know, you're gonna get about 90% of what you need with Growth Bar. So I really appreciate you watching this video. If you are gonna try out Growth Bar, please use the link in my description. I get a small cut at no extra cost to you. And I only recommend products I believe in. I do use and believe in Growth Bar. So it would be great if you use it. And if you do use it, you know, hit me up with an email or whatever it may be. I have more information on keyword research and actually a 13,000 word blog post on how to start a blog and make money and use techniques like this so that your content appears and then you can monetize it and make a income from home. So uh, yeah, it's all that, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you could subscribe to this channel too. I love you, bye.